What do you believe then of the two sort of scenarios that uh, Geraldine has laid out, Frederick, given that you did say you do expect two cuts? Insurance rate cuts. So yes. we do believe that, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the US uh, economy is still uh, strong enough to avoid a recession. We could have, and I fully agree with Geraldine, mm. uh, an earnings recession without uh, a GDP recession. But I think that this type of inconsistency that you could see in markets pricing in more rate cuts and equity markets still going up is that also the term premium is going mm. down. And that's something we don't talk about that much uh, compared with uh, Fed Fund's future or break even inflation rates. The term premium, the 10 year, is down to minus 90 basis points all-time low. That's the big difference with 2016 when actually the 10-year US Treasury yields was lower but the term premium was higher. To me it could suggest that some central banks are forced to do QE not only rate uh, cutting rates right and I'm thinking obviously about the ECB uh, as an example. And the Fed as well? Who knows I mean if we're going to deflation mm. airy environment I would say uh, uh, with inflation expectations going down to 1% I mean that's not the case almost uh, unlikely uh, and very difficult to see at the, at the moment. But if that's the case at some point, for some reason, a global recession, for instance, yes, I mean, QE could be back on the table. And at least to some extent, I think the bond market is pricing in, in this possibility. Okay.